All right, back here in Metro Atlanta, new tonight at 11, we're learning multiple teenage suspects have been offered plea deals in a deadly shooting near Atlantic Station nearly one year ago. Yeah, one of those suspects has taken a plea deal and learned his sentence. The victims in this case are two children, 12 and 15 years old. And tonight, the mother of one of those victims is talking with 11 Alive's John Shearick about her reaction to the plea offers on the table. Young people, gangs, guns, death on the 17th Street Bridge at Atlantic Station in November of last year. Now one of the seven young suspects accused in the shooting deaths that night of 15-year-old Cameron Jackson and 12-year-old Zion Charles has agreed to plead guilty for a lighter sentence. Amikel Aziz, the first to accept a plea deal from prosecutors, pleading guilty to gang recruitment charges instead of murder and sentenced to five years in prison plus five years on probation. Cameron Jackson's mother, Tiffany Smith, says prosecutors have advised her they're offering plea deals to all of the defendants. Like you, you can't put a value on someone's life of how long is enough. If the sentence is not enough and, and this person gets out, then what will happen? Like, could this happen to some, another mom? Tiffany Smith has devoted her life since Cameron's death trying to stop gangs and violence fighting to educate moms that still have their children that don't know what's going on in the city. All in the name of her youngest child, Cameron. Cameron's birthday is on November the 6th. It would have been his sweet 16. He was just full of life, the love of our family. Prosecutors have told Ms. Smith that other defendants face decades in prison, even if they accept deals and plead guilty, and hearings will be coming up for them. At the 17th Street Bridge in Northwest Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.